The direct climate change situation of our planet has created a need for clean energy generation that does not require the burning of fossil fuels. Imagine a fleet of shiny aircraft moving across the continents powered entirely by clean electric power and fresh air. That will be a big farewell to another factor contributing to the problem of global warming. The question is, can this be the solution to runaway climate change and dependency on fossil fuels, or just another source of hot air? The electric plasma jet engine compresses air and ionizes it using microwaves, thus generating plasma that thrusts the engine forwards. Conventional jet engines have been in existence for some time, and while the present loads of benefits, those engines also have their adverse effects. For instance, a conventional jet engine, a fossil fuel, usually a kerosene-based petroleum mixture, is combined with compressed air, then ignited. This results in gases heating up rapidly and expanding with explosive force. And this force is then harnessed to power fans or directly blasted out of the back of the engine to generate thrust. Hi, and welcome to TechSpace. In this video, we will explain the working principles of conventional jet engines, so stick around to learn more. The technology of electric plasma jet engines, on the other hand, says a big no to any smelly, toxic hydrocarbons. Instead, they use plasma to generate crucial propulsive expansion of gas. Yeah, fans of Marvel's Iron Man should be familiar with the word plasma. The plasma jet fuel is just another state of matter like solid, liquid, or gas, which occurs under particular conditions like the burning heart of a star, or the air surrounding highly charged luminance, such as a lightning bolt. Makes you wonder the amount of plasma that must be surrounding Marvel's Thor, as regarding a rumor about him being the god of thunder and all. The theory is that when plasma is artificially superheated, the energy generated from its expansion can power an engine capable of generating enough thrust to fly an aircraft since the aviation industry produces almost 12% of all carbon emissions in the transport sector and can produce up to three tons as many carbon emissions per mile than a conventional petrol car. With the introduction of electric cars, it's no surprise that options that might reduce these toxic emissions are explored, the most notable of these options being electric-powered flights. But how can electrically propelled aircraft reach the same level of thrust as conventional jet engines? According to a team of researchers from Wuhan University, with their analysis, they thought they might have found a possible solution. Having successfully designed an electric plasma jet engine prototype that utilizes ionized air plasma induced by microwaves to convert electricity into thrust. Since ions are either positively or negatively charged atoms, that have either gained or lost an electron, they are convenient for ion thrusters. Here in the ion thrusters, xenon gas is ionized by knocking out an electron using those electrons in the ionization chamber. The positively charged ions are attracted to a negatively charged grid and are shut out through the back of the chamber at extremely high speeds to neutralize the ion and prevent it from returning to the thrusters. An electron is introduced to it, Sure, this seems like an invention out of a Marvel alien universe. However, a small amount of thrust is produced and cannot even overcome the friction of Earth's atmosphere. How much more flying a commercial aircraft? This isn't much of an issue in the vacuum of space. So hitting directly at the question, how exactly does the electric plasma jet work? For the plasma engine, the air is the primary fuel. It compresses the air before heating it so that its expansion at the back of the chamber creates increased thrust. But the air is not heated conventionally. To understand how it is heated, let's first look at lightning. Plasma is basically made of ions, and free electrons thought to be the most abundant state of matter in the universe, though it is rarely talked about. Plasma is formed when gases are provided with enough energy to feel an electron and turn the atoms into ions, commonly achieved with high temperatures and heavy electrical fields. When lightning occurs, it turns the air around it into plasma. Since the generated plasma is conductive, it allows the lightning bolt to continue on its path in the electric jet. Instead of high electrical fields or high temperatures, 
Concentrated microwaves from a generator are used to provide sufficient energy to the compressed air for its ionization. An electrical spark is introduced to the ionized air to ignite it, causing the now conductive air plasma to increase the same way air plasma around lightning does. The air plasma can reach over 1000 degrees Celsius, expanding into the tube to create increased thrust at the back of the engine. The secret working here is the direct conversion of electricity into thrust by utilizing microwaves to generate energy from compressed air, turning a bit into plasma propulsion. This might sound like an invention out of a science fiction movie. Still, if this technology is actually implemented in flying commercial airplanes, then its positive impacts on the atmosphere, the environment, and the planet in general will be huge. In an article published by the American Institute of Physics Advances, a prototype electric plasma jet engine was released to include microwave air plasma thrusters that use a 2.45 gigawatts microwave ionization chamber to generate the plasma into the air when ionized and creates a low temperature plasma capable of traveling through a tube by an air compressor. While in the tube, the plasma enters a microwave that increases the temperature and pressure of the plasma to generate significant thrust. The developed prototype is capable of generating 10 newtons of thrust at 400 watts. The researchers stated that using a high-powered microwave source and high-temperature and pressure-resistance materials, high-performance microwave jet engine thrusters can be constructed. When the data is linearly scaled up, they estimated that the propulsive force could be comparable to that obtained from conventional jet engines. A conventional jet engine works basically by collecting air through a fan. Then the pressure of the air collected increases as it travels through a compressor. The compressed air is then mixed with fuel and ignited by an electric spark, making the mixture burn and expand through a nozzle at the back of the engine. The hot air also travels through the turbine, which consists of rotating blades. This process is how the jet engine works to thrust aircraft forward at high speeds. The current challenge with the electric plasma jet engine design lies in scaling a plasma propulsion technology powerful enough to use on a jet engine. To achieve this, several factors need to be considered and addressed. According to an article released by Futurism, the amount of power produced by this prototype electric jet engine was analyzed and found to be around 28 newton of thrust per kilowatt of power. The Airbus A320 jet engine, which is a typical commercial jet, produces about 220,000 newtons of thrust combined. This analysis reveals how a comparable sized electric jet engine will require more than 7,800 kilowatts of power. The article further explained that to achieve such a power supply, an aircraft will have to be loaded with more than 570 Tesla Powerwatt battery units for a single hour of flight. That sounds rather impractical since the Airbus A320's payload can only carry about 130 of Tesla's giant battery units. Currently, no existing battery technology can provide enough power to get this off the ground. Zhao Tang, a lead researcher of the study and professor at the Wuhan University, has stated that the electric plasma jet engine does not need fossil fuels. As such, there are no carbon emissions to cause greenhouse effects and global warming. From several results obtained from the test runs of the prototype engine, microwave air plasma can potentially be a very viable alternative to conventional fossil fuel jet engines over the years. Zhao Tang is banking on improvements to battery technology over the next couple of years and decades. He's also noted that there are compact fusion reactors in existence, like Russia's KLT-40S, that weigh little enough that they could fit in a passenger plane or rocket and produce sufficient power. But the safety and environmental implications of nuclear-powered aircraft are grim. Another engineer, known as Professor Heil, was quick to point out that power generation is not the only problem facing the electric plasma jet engine. Getting the electricity from the power source to the thrusters is altogether another difficulty that must be considered, as it might require the use of superconducting materials that don't exist yet. As land-based travel is turning more and more toward electricity and away from fossil fuels, so may the days of carbon-neutral air travel be just around the corner for us. As fossil fuels are at the same time unsustainable 
and unsafe, new methods that take us away from the use of fossil fuels are needed. Do you prefer electric plasma jets to conventional jets? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.